Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nolji. You have probably heard the term motherboard when dealing with computers. In basic terms, the motherboard is a circuit board for the computer system and called a logic board or a main board. In the computer system, the biggest component is the motherboard which controls all the components of the computer system and establishes a link between all components. When you open up your desktop computer and take out the motherboard, you will probably get pretty confused about all the different parts. Depending on the make and model of your computer, it might look something like this. Now I am going to discuss about important components of the motherboard and their function. These are the mouse and keyboard connectors. A purple 6 pin connector is used for the keyboard and a green pin is used for the mouse. And this is the parallel port. A parallel port is available for a printer connected to the computer. In the parallel port, 25 pins female DB type connector is used. Let's see the another port of the outlet part of the motherboard. This is the serial port. A serial port can be connected to the numerous devices, modem, serial mic, serial printers, barcode readers, radios, etc. It is a serial communication physical interface through which information transfers in or out one bit at a time. And this one is a LAN port. It is referred to as a Ethernet port and the network port. It is a port connection that allows a computer to connect to a network using a wired connection. Now here is a USB port. It means universal serial bus. It allows you to insert a pen drive and some other devices like a game controllers, lights and a fans. And these are the audio ports. An audio port is available to which a audio devices such as a speakers, headphones or a microphone can be connected. And here blue color port is a VGA port. A 15 pin video graphics era connector is used to connect the video cards, computer monitors and high definition television sets. And this one is a CPU chip. The central processing unit is the processor that controls all the computer system function. The central processing unit means CPU controls the overall flow of the task and functions. And these are the RAM slots. The RAM slot connect the RAM memory in the computer system. These are mainly two RAM slots in the general computer system, but sometimes there can be a four plus slots in the motherboard to increase the computer system memory. And this one is the FDC, floppy disk controller. FDC is a hardware component that manages the data transferred to and from floppy disk in older computer systems. This is the PCI slot. The full form of PCI is a peripheral component interface. The PCI slot primarily serves as the insert point for the computer's expansion cards. It can also connect the other PCI devices such as sound cards, network cards, video cards, modems and other peripherals. Now this one is a ISS slot. Industrial standard architecture defines a standard architecture for expansion buses. The ISS slot serves as a connection point for input devices and modems. Now this one is a AGP slot. The AGP means accelerated graphics slot is a type of computer slot used to attach the video cards to the system. This slot facilitates the high speed data transfer. Now this one CPU slot. The CPU slot connects the central processing unit to the computer system motherboard. Now this one is a power connector. This power connector supply power to the motherboard. The main power connector is typically 24 pin ATX connector and there may be additional connectors for CPU power. Now this part is called a CMOS battery. The CMOS battery stores the BIOS settings on the motherboard. 
the cmos battery can also store the time and data in it now this is the ide or a sata on older computer motherboards you found integrated drive electronics ide slot These are the standard interfaces for connecting a motherboard to storage devices such as the hard drives and the ROM and DVD drives. But now the latest motherboards make use of the SATA technology. A serial advanced technology attachment is a computer bus interface used to connect the host bus adapters with the mass storage devices like optical drivers and hard drives. These are North Bridge and South Bridge chipset on a motherboard. The North Bridge, also called the memory controller, is in charge of controlling the transfer between the processor and the RAM. That's why it is located physically near the processor. The South Bridge, it is also called the input output controller or a expansion controller. It handles the communication between the slower peripheral devices such as the USB audio serial and the system BIOS and the IDE channels. And last, this is the heat sink. Heat sink is a passive heat exchanger component that cools a device by absorbing heat into the surrounding air. In this video, the parts of motherboards and their functions are discussed in details so that you can get a better understanding of motherboards. A computer motherboard is referred to as its heart. Slots or ports attach anything to the motherboard that is not already a part of it. The motherboard connects the different external components of the computer. So it is also considering the backbone of a computer. Bye bye take care we will meet soon with another interesting topic till then keep watching knowledge Like the video share this video and don't forget subscribe this channel you can also visit the knowledge by following the other platforms